Keenum first. I'm Keenum. Let's talk about PSI, pounds per square inch. Pounds per square inch, PSI. This is one way that we can tell how much air is in a tire, loosely speaking. For those who want to know, pounds per square inch is a measurement of pressure. Pressure is how much force you're exerting over an area. And in the United States, we use pounds to describe force. But that's above and beyond what we're doing at this point. We just want to know what the PSI is in our tires. If the number's really big, that means there's a lot of pressure, a lot of force. Usually on the driver's side door, you will have this sticker that lets you know how much pressure each tire needs. Look at these numbers. These tires need, on the front tires at least, 32 PSI, 32 pounds per square inch. And then the rear tires, doo -doo -doo -doo, they need 30 PSI, 30 pounds per square inch. And you can do that with your parent or guardian's car. Ask them to open the driver's side and look for this label. Whatever you do, do not ever, ever mess with tires without a parent or a guardian with you at all times. Tires can be very dangerous. So be safe. Like some construction vehicles, this tricycle has no air in its tires. It's just made of solid rubber. So each tire, you could say, has zero PSI. Excuse me, I'd like to know what was wrong with my tire. Why was it flat? Yeah, you had a nail. It's a good thing you pulled over when you did, or you would have busted up your rims. Hezzy Man's gonna check the pressure in this rear tire. It needs to be, do you remember how much needs to go in the rear tire? 30. 30. Push firmly with your thumb. Make sure you have a parent or a guardian help you with this. Push it all the way until you hear, all right, let go. We let out too much pressure. You push all the way down with your thumb, and then you wanna make sure the air has stopped hissing. Now pull it off. What does it say here? It says 30. It has the right amount of pressure. This is a pressure gauge. If you're going down the road and you feel your tire blow, you better watch out now, my friend Nick. You better get over quick. Your tire goes bum 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Watch out now, take care if your tire is losing air. PSI, pounds per square inch. If your tire's low, you better get off of the road. PSI, pounds per square inch. If your tire is low, better get off of the road. If you're going down the road and you feel your tire blow, you better watch out now, my friend Matt. I think your tire is flat. It goes bum 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 bum. Watch out now. Take care if your tire is losing air. PSI, pounds per square inch. If your tire's low, you better get off of the road. PSI, pounds per square inch. If your tire's low, Better get off of the road. PSI! Listen, if you haven't joined our class yet, you can absolutely do that at the link below. Ask your mom, dad, or guardian because we have full length episodes and we release them early. But you're always welcome to join us here at this channel or on the Book of Faces. Your call. See you next time. God bless. Hey, don't forget, be safe around tires, kids.
not all tires use air. Some tires are made of plastic, and they won't have any PSI because it's just a solid plastic tire. Like this toy tractor. Righty tighty, not lefty loosey. That's right. This right here is called a valve.